We are going to use the open array to solve 452 divided by 2. The way you set up this problem is kind of like you would set up a division problem when you're doing long division or using partial quotients. If you notice, this looks just like the same sign that we use when we do long division or partial quotients. So I am going to write my 2 on the outside of this. Normally my 452 would go in the middle, but for open array, it's actually going to go on the outside. When I find my products down here, my products should add to equal the sum 452. My first step in this process is to look at my largest place. My largest place is my hundreds place. So I'm going to start multiplying by multiples of 100 to get my answer. For example, 2 times 100 is 200, 2 times 200 is 400, 2 times 300 is 600. I know that 2 times 200 is the closest product to 452 because 2 times 300 is 600, which is too big. So I'm going to pretend my multiplication sign is right here and I am going to write 2 times 200, which gives me 400. I will then take my 400 and subtract it from 452. 452 minus 400 leaves me with 52. I am then going to look at my 52 and decide the next place I'm going to multiply by. Multiply by. So now I'm going to do multiples of 10. For example, 2 times 10 is 20, 2 times 20 is 40, and 2 times 30 is 60. Well, if I think about those, 2 times 20 is closest to 52 because 2 times 20 is 40. So then I'm going to take 52 minus 40. 52 minus 40 leaves me with 12. If I know my multiplication facts, I know off the top of my head that 2 times 6 equals 12. I am going to use my open array to find the answer to 452 divided by 2. My answer can be found at the very top of my open array. I am going to take 200 plus 20 plus 6, which gives me 226. The answer to 452 divided by 2 is 226. If you notice, if you add 400 plus 40 plus 12, that will give you 452. So my 452 is still on the inside, it's just broken up by place.